Here we go then, USTC going absolutely insane. Is it going to drag Luna Classic as well? And why are we seeing this pump? Well, we're going to talk about it in this video as well as taking a look at what the Algo Quant team have delivered. Remember, we are funding these guys for one month and one month only, so they need to get to work. All of that in this video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything going on with Terra Luna Classic as well as the wider cryptocurrency market. And with that being said, let's jump into this video. So here we go, we're taking a look at the current market. We're just starting to see a little bit of a movement in BTC right now as we get ever nearer to the start of a new week and I talked about this in my live stream I think it's going to be a pretty big week for us in the whole cryptocurrency space as well as Terra Luna Classic so we sit 1.21 trillion just marginally down 0.04% you can see Bitcoin there looking like it could test 30,400 very very soon now XRP at 6% is pretty crazy but if we come down the list to Terra Luna Classic We've been having a pretty good ride. We saw that big pump yesterday. We are just marginally up on the last 24 hours. 9181. Our current price volume trading around $92 million. So pretty good for Luna Classic. When we take a look at USTC, however, that is doing some big numbers right now. 1873 up 18%. Look at the volume though. $141 million in volume. So USTC really starting to have a bit of a big run. We'll take a look at the technicals in just a minute. But what is going on? Well, we have our first official update on this sorry the second official update from the USTC team so remember we voted these in for a month they committed to be more transparent and give us exactly what's going on now do I think this is pumping the price I'm not too sure but at the same time we are getting more and you know more exposure to this and ultimately updates as and well we should so it says forward we are excited to provide you with another weekly update on the USTC team. Our team have been hard at work this past week on continue to work towards our goals of transparency, value creation, and community involvement as we tackle repegging USTC. With that said, here's a snapshot into what our team has accomplished this week. So remember, these are the developers that sit on it. So Forelex has been focused on the supply analyst and reduction efforts. Team up with Frag from the L1 team, which is very good to see that we are actually seeing you know, parity between the two teams. What we want to see the Terra Rebels come on board because imagine three teams with a absolute shared desire could be very, very effective. To run a comprehensive query mapping of all token and blockchain tasks requires deep crawling the entire blockchain's history from Genesis and is still underway. Redline been building on the training, building packaging and debugging back testing with Bilbo and then Bilbo's resolving dependency version conflicts and he's also been working on setting up the CI CD for the Terra Algo backtest repo that has been involved in assisting with the new design and architectural development for the tool he'll be in charge of the architecture and design for the back testing tool from here now and kojak and fafi have been working on the initial implementation of the divergence protocol with buybacks absolutely a fantastic thing remember we talked about that on a previous video but yeah the diversion protocol could be very very interesting and it says additionally fafi reviewed the existing code base and, re and refactored to make it more modular and test friendly so that the USTC team and future external contributions can iterate faster on future back tests for various model specifications. So huge developments. Now, what does it actually look like for you and I to go and have a look at it? Well, we don't see that just yet. What I'd like to see is some GitHub updates as well as maybe some live mapping as exactly what they're doing and how it's going to fundamentally support what we are doing. So I think that is very, very good. What are they doing? Well, they successfully implemented the first version of Diversion Protocol. They're also at a stage where they can begin reviewing numbers and seeing how the Diversion Protocol algorithm performs in real world conditions. And this is huge because this is going to truly Really give us a sense of whether a USTC repeg can happen. Now, we talked a little bit yesterday about that on ramping as well as part of the station build out from the L1. This could be huge as those two things work together. The team's also working extensively on back testing and discussion on parameters we want to use for diversion protocol is imminent. So they really are, or what feels like, being really on top of what they want to do. And ultimately, they want to bring this transparency, this collaboration, and ultimately making sure that the community knows exactly what's going on. And right now, it's having a very positive effect. When we take a look at USTC, it did start to move early 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon, and it is in a very strong upward trend right now, absolutely bouncing off the 7 and the 20-day EMA, looking very strong with some good volume coming in. RSI trending slightly in the overbought phase, but look, this really could test the twos. We broke it earlier, and I'd like to see that move. Now, Luna Classic has sat around the same part but look it's looking very bullish in this flags it kind of bulls up and we want to see this break above 9631 that will be our next test for Luna Classic I think a break above retest and then a bounce off could be very bullish this week for Luna Classic and I think we could see it if it USTC continues to move 
Now, if you want to pump USTC like me, then check out DeFi DGen Coffee, a fantastic coffee blend for your, your coffee investment needs. Check out the link in the description for their fantastic coffee blends. And you can even get a discount using the code 2BitCrypto15 right now on their website. Obviously, we still continue to burn. 72 million has been burned. And what I did want to bring you is 15% of Luna Classic Staked, over 1.02 trillion Luna Classic Staked. And it is growing every single day. As more people come in, they are staking, they are supporting the network. Everything is looking very, very bullish right now. Yes, the price is down. I can already read the comments saying you're talking nonsense, da, da, da. But look, these are big developments that ultimately in the long term will have a huge effect both on the price, the circulating supply, and fundamentally what Terra Luna Classic can do. Remember, we are becoming more more and more decentralized. We are breaking away from TFL. We're even creating our own backends. This all of a sudden starts to become very, very exciting and the price will come over time. I've always said that. Remember, the lower the price, the easier it is to burn supply. We have to remember that. Yes, everyone wants to see the price move up, but what we can see when we talk about Lunk is whenever we get a big price up, people are going to sell. And unfortunately, we're going to see this for quite some time. But as ever, when we see these developments, it can only be a positive thing. So let me know in the comments down below what what do you think? What do you think is happening? USTC, Luna Classic, you still bullish? Are you still excited about what's going on with the USTC repeg? And as ever, I will see you all in the next one, but be sure to subscribe so you know when we upload our latest content or go live on our live streams for Pim Easton every single day. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.